friends and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to do a fun tag video today for you. My friends Marie and Darren over at the Caffeinated Classroom and Darren Nakakihara created a tag for all of us to do in this time and I think that it's really exciting because it gives me like a purpose, something to do. <laughs> Not that I don't have anything to do, I have plenty to do, I just want to do something more fun. So anyway, Darren and Marie created this new teacher tag called the distance learning teacher tag. So I decided to do that today and I'm going to tag all of you to go ahead and film this teacher tag. Um, basically it's like the coolest tag ever. <laughs> um, you also may notice right now that it is extra quiet around here um, and that is because my son Cash is at preschool. His school is actually open and so normally I would keep him but I had an abundance of things I need to get done today and I would not have been able to do them if he was home so I decided to take him to school. He's having fun there. It's extremely clean. Um, there aren't a ton of kids going right now so it's very low-key but I decided that I really needed him to go today so that I could get some things done. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go through the questions. There are 11 questions and <coughs> that was a wet cough. I'm fine. Um, there are 11 questions and I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into them. All right. Question number one, what is your current teaching status? Distance learning off, etc. So I teach in the state of Arizona and our governor actually just called for school closures to extend through the end of the school year. Um, so that is kind of newer information that we just got. And so our district has been working the last couple of weeks to create some sort of plan for our students and our families. As I mentioned in the last video, our district has very diverse needs for our families. Um, quite a few of them do not have access to internet or do not have a device to use the internet with. So a lot of different variables here, um, but I am beginning digital learning starting April 6th, which is next Monday. And we do have a set of expectations that we are supposed to follow. There isn't a specific question here that addresses that plan. So um, I think I might address that in another video, just explain to you guys what I'm doing, um, what my expectations are, just see if they're different than yours. Um, but basically, I am completely off. Um, I am still being paid, which is a huge blessing. Um, and I am expected to work or be available for work between the hours of 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So that is what my distance learning kind of looks like. And I said, like I said, I'll explain a little bit more in another video, but that's what my current teaching status is. How long is your school out? I kind of already answered that. Um, it has been changing day to day, but we did get the official Arizona schools are closed until the end of the school year. So with that being said, I probably will not get to see my students for a while. Once we are clear to move about the country, <laughs> Um, I will reach out to each one of them and see if I can't put together some sort of like meetup so that I can see them again and give them proper goodbyes. But it is kind of nice that I'm on YouTube and a lot of my students watch, so I do get to interact with them online, which is great. Um, what is your best distance learning teacher advice? I would just say to keep it simple and keep it reasonable. A lot of our students are not able to engage in learning all day long. A lot of them, at least mine, have to wait until their parents come home from work because they are essential employees. Um, and so a lot of my students cannot do anything until the evening time. So I want to be able to provide them with things that will um, extend the learning of what they've already learned in class and just more of like a practice. So I would just say simple and minimal. I mean, I don't want to assign them with you know, an assignment per day rather than, you know, a couple things here and there in the week that just extend their learning um, more for like practice. So keep it simple and basically short and sweet. <laughs> what is your favorite social distancing snack? 
Lately, I have been eating a lot of cottage cheese with my mother-in-law's homemade salsa mixed in and like dipping chips in it. Um, that's just kind of been my go-to, like at least once a day I'm going to that snack. Um, but that's pretty much it. Other than that, I'm eating a lot of avocado toast and I've been really craving like Thai food, but it's really hard to get my hands on. So I've been kind of, you know, getting what I can here and there, but chips and salsa with cottage cheese in it. It's like a little oomph for your salsa. You know, you get a little protein in there. It's kind of good. Um, have you picked up any new skills? Um, one new skill that I've picked up has been patience. <laughs> and um, patience for toddler things. As you guys know, I have a two-year-old at home and so I have had to learn a lot more patience with a younger child. I'm used to like teaching third and fourth graders, so it's usually the ages, you know, eight to 10, and I'm home a lot more with my toddler in the last couple of weeks, and so I've really had to learn more about dealing with a toddler and speaking his language which is definitely a new skill, I think. So does that count? Yes, I think so. What are your Netflix recommendations? <laughs> you guys, I'm totally into The Tiger King. It starts out really weird, but I promise you if you keep watching it, it gets really interesting. Um, I haven't been watching a ton of Netflix only because I've been playing The Sims a lot in my free time. When my son is napping and at night when he goes to bed, I totally play The Sims. And um, it's very ironic because I'm playing the Strangerville pack, which is where you basically like find a vaccine for this like terrible sickness that was released in the world and you have to save the world by finding a vaccine. I find it very ironic, um, but it is really entertaining. So I don't have a ton of Netflix recommendations other than the Tiger King. I think it's great. But if I could recommend like something else, I would say if you have either a computer that can handle it or like a piece, like a PlayStation or an Xbox, get The Sims. It's kind of fun. You get to create life that isn't in lockdown. And so that's been really entertaining. Question seven, what habits have you picked up? I've actually picked up some really bad habits. Before this closure, I was doing a really good job of getting into the gym four days a week and um, I haven't really been working out and I have a home gym. I have no excuse other than I'm just not motivated to work out. On a scale of one to 10, what is your anxiety level? I feel like this changes from day to day. Like it all depends on new information. As I get new information, I feel really anxious. And as the information kind of stops coming in, my anxiety goes away. Um, I wouldn't really say anxiety more over like stress. Um, when things don't work the way I want them to or when I can't figure out something technology wise, it really stresses me out. Um, but I would say anxiety level kind of just fluctuates throughout the days. Can you guys hear my dogs whining? They're like, okay, back to <laughs> the questions. Um, what is your distance learning OOTD? Well, I got a little bit more dressed today than I normally would because I am, I am filming some videos today for my uh, coworkers and for my students. And so I got a little bit more put together than normal, but usually it's like no makeup, a sweatshirt, a pair of shorts, and my slippers. Um, but I'm wearing a teacher tee today, so that's positive. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's kind of just what it is. A sweatshirt, a meshy bun. No makeup? <laughs> if your students were watching this, what would you say to them? I know that most of them are watching this and what I wanna say to you guys is just how much I love you and miss you and I wish we were together. I wish I could like invite each of you to my house and just teach you for the day and then send you back. <laughs> and my mom even said like, they should just sit at the end of your driveway and you could sit at the garage door and teach from there. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish. What I wanna say to you guys is just continue to be strong, make good choices, make choices that are going to benefit you in your day, whether you choose to participate in online learning or not, just know that it doesn't matter that you're gonna be okay. 
you're gonna go to fourth grade, you're gonna be successful, you're gonna learn everything you need to do. Use this time to spend with your families because we actually get this time and take advantage of it and just do your very best and just know that I love you so much and I miss you and I will see you again someday, I will, I promise. Okay, last question. What do you miss most about your class? I miss laughing with them. We're always laughing with each other, at each other, at the funny things that they do. Angel, if you're watching this, you make me laugh so much. Your smile just radiates in the room and you are just always making us giggle. I, all of them, I mean, truly, like they are the funniest little humans I've ever met and they totally get me and they laugh at my jokes and you know, if they don't laugh at my jokes, that's okay. But I just miss singing with you, I miss dancing with you, I miss being able to teach you new things and see your faces when you've learned it and I just I just miss everything about that. I miss our our friendship and our relationships and I miss the free hugs, you guys. Like I get way less hugs now. I used to get at least, you know, 50 hugs a day and now I don't get that many. And Alice and Jack aren't very good huggers and Cash, I mean, he'll hug, but it's not as good as yours. So I miss your hugs a lot. Um, and your faces, I really do miss you. Okay guys, so those are the 11 questions in the distance learning teacher tag. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too long. Um, I'm going to put all of the questions down in the links below. So if you're interested in doing the tag, please tag me in it. I want to see how you guys are doing at home and your distance teaching. And if you aren't here on YouTube, then share something with me on Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram and you would like to, go ahead and follow me at Apples and Tiaras. I like to do more updating there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Probably wearing the same outfit that I'm wearing now. <laughs> All right, you guys, see ya.